everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we are doing a Walmart try on haul as some of you may know most of the time I shop online at Walmart but there are times where I can walk into the store and I just hit it right and today's video is one of those hauls where I just walked right into the store and they had a lot of pieces from free assembly and scoop I do have maybe two pieces from Time and Truth. Those are the three brands that I really gravitate towards. Every so often, maybe something from No Boundaries, which is a Junior's brand. But anyway, let's just get started. The first dress we have is this beautiful print with all of my favorite colors, the orange, the pinks, you know, it's just speaks Joni in my opinion. And so I had to try it. It's from Free Assembly. It is a short sleeve belted midi dress with pockets yes i know i'm all about the pockets it does come in extra small through 3xl and it's 100 percent cotton machine washable i just think it is just so pretty i just love the vibrancy of the colors it does come in different prints but this is the one a that they had in store and b I would have gravitated towards anyway. I'm not gonna speak so much about the shoes I paired it with because I feel like it's just so subjective. Everybody has their own style. For me, I mostly am geared towards wearing some type of heel. And I'm only 5'2", and I've always just wanted to add some height to myself, so that's my go-to. There's only one pair of shoes in here that are from Walmart, and they happen to be sneakers. I've spoken about them before. They're a platform espadrille sneaker, which are so cute. I really love them and I wear them a lot. I definitely get my wear out of them, but all the other shoes are not from Walmart. They are older, like last season or two or three seasons ago, but they still work. Whatever I can link, I certainly will. You guys let me know, am I keeping this? Am I returning? I just love the flow of it. I don't know, am I being swallowed up in it? Am I caught up with the belt? Should I have downsized? I don't really know, but the print is beautiful. All the colors that I love. I mean, I can't say anything bad about it because it's just beautiful. I just don't know if it's beautiful on me. The colors are great and that gives me the confidence to say I can totally wear this and feel great in it, but I don't know. I leave it to you. I'm, I'm torn. So the next dress is also from Free Assembly, but it's a completely different style. It is a square neck mini dress and it has the puff sleeves. It comes in black, a green, and a white, and then this print. And of course I picked the print because I just love the print. I think the solid colors are great, but again, because I want that vibrancy, I chose to go with this, but I also wanted to compare the looks, the different style dress within the same print. So that's why I went this route also. The one thing about this, and I believe I got a clip of it, in the back when I tied it, you know, it, it was just a tie around the back. It was so gaping, like it, it kind of has like a swoop, like you have the tie and I think you'll see the clip. And then it's just gaping right where that opening would be. So I don't know if I tied it too tight. I don't know what it is, but I know for sure I won't be keeping it because it just doesn't look right. I did try to put my hands around my waist just to see what it would look like belt in. But again, it's not for me, you know, I think tailored looks just are better on me, just that plain shift dress type style. Needless to say, that is going back, but is the midi length going back as well? I don't know, help me out. It probably will be, but I'll wait for your comments to let me know. And please comment and let me know your thoughts throughout the video, I'd love to hear them. I don't want to recommend this dress. I don't know if it's that I don't have like a big enough bust. I don't know what it is. And again, it could be user error and I just didn't know how to tie it in the back to not create that gaping mound that was back there. I don't need anything more. Well, maybe in the behind I do, but anyway. I will say that it is on sale for $23. It really, I'm sure, is going to look so adorable on someone else. So next we have this crochet dress from the Scoop line. I just love the look of it. I love the colors, the length, everything about it. I'm not so sure. Well, you know what? I'm not going to give you guys any clue as to what my thoughts are. I'll leave that all up to you. 
I did just pair it with some flats and try to, you know, change the look with a little hat. It's like a 60-40 cotton acrylic blend. So again, do it that what you wish. The one comment I will say, it feels really nice, it's soft, it's not itchy, it is sleeveless, so if that's an issue for you, showing your arms, totally get it, but you can always throw on a cardigan or just even like a little wrap. Blazer could look really nice with it as well. Denim jacket, there are options out there to cover those arms. For me, the flats are throwing it off. I think I truly need the height. So, oh, and you know, Speaking of flats, those shoes are another Walmart find. I love them. I've spoken about them before. I think they're like $12 on the site now. I have them in pink in like a, almost like this color blue, actually. Um, and they're really uh, very, very comfortable. So two shoes from Walmart, the rest not. I just love the color. I love the crochet details, you know, partly when I'm out shopping, especially now that I'm back to work and I am in an office, I am looking for some workwear. So all three of these are certainly not workwear for me. I could probably get away with the first one, but clearly I'm not wearing a crochet dress to the office, but I think it's so pretty. The other option it does come in is a red and purple. So another look we have is this white eyelet tunic top. And boy, do I just love this. I think there are so many ways in which you can wear it. Clearly here, I just went white on white with a pop of color in my shoes, but certainly a pair of jeans. This is a great look just to go out to dinner. I think it's so sharp. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful shirt this i will be keeping because i know i'll get a lot of wear out of it it does come in black as well might have to take a look at that but so many options i could wear this to work there's nothing revealing the eyelet is such a beautiful detail and something that i know i could get a lot of wear out of and be able to style it in so many different ways honestly even just a bathing suit cover up just wear it unbuttoned with your sleeves rolled up however unless it's cooler and you need the sleeves down but i think it could be really cute if you got it oversized but yeah i really like this like i said i just have it with the pair of denim i wanted that white on white that little bit more monochromatic look and i i think it looks so beautiful there's nothing spectacular per se about it it's just the eyelid detail is what gives it you know that flattering look and it's not so bulky that it's going to add any more bulk especially if you are on the bustier side so i think it's a really nice look and certainly worth the money another one from scoop another crocheted dress and yes in one of my favorite colors the orange i saw it i had to get it i think the sleeves are really very nice the detail at the wrist where it's a little bit more flowy. Beautiful, I think this is a great transition piece because of the long sleeves, you can certainly push them up and show some skin. I'm almost saying to myself, oh, I could probably get away with this at work, but I don't know. I think there's a lot you can do with this. I do wanna point out that I know that I've been showing a lot of dresses in recent videos, and that's because during this time of year, they're just so easy and if I find the right ones to put on, I don't have to worry about things around my stomach or obviously take away the belts, that type of thing. But they're just comfortable and most of the time they're breathable. They just work for this time of year. You know, I love my shorts and that type of thing, but the dresses are just so easy and there are so many options and choices that it's hard to resist and this is one of those dresses that was hard to resist i think i may have mentioned in another video i have some bridal showers coming up graduations things like that and it's always fun to to look at all the different style dresses and i'm like oh that would be great for this or this one would look great for this particular occasion and i just have fun with it and so that's why i gravitate towards the dresses a lot here's another dress from free assembly it's a mini tear dress also belted but i'm actually thinking i wonder if i could just let it hang 
and not even use the belt. And I think that's what I need to start thinking about when I see belted looks. Just cutting the belt loops out and maybe adding just another type of belt and maybe that will offset my issues with belts. So this one is one of those where I think I could just even let it hang. The tiered look, giving it a little bit more of like a flowy. It is a shirt dress, which again, I really like. I love that style. It's 100% cotton, machine washable. It's just an easy dress. I think the way I paired it is a little bit more dressier, but I would also be very comfortable wearing your sneakers, some flats. I could probably wear this to work on a Friday. I think I could get away with it because of the sleeves, right? I don't have this sleeveless look going on. There are long sleeves. It kind of adds a little bit more of a dressier look. And so I think it could be office appropriate styled properly. Going a little bit more casual, I saw this cotton embroidered fluttered sleeve top that I think is really cute and you can style it so many different ways. Fluttered sleeve, the embroidery really just elevates just a typical cotton tee if you would. And I do have it paired with some white jeans again. I tucked it in. I believe I untucked it and just to show you the length really cute it's under fifteen dollars but again it's just a little bit more i don't want to say pizzazz to it but you know it just has a little wow factor here that elevates it for the price point i think it's really cute i do believe it comes with the all white and then the blue embroidery up on the on the sleeves so both options really great i think they are pretty basic and sometimes that's exactly what we want and blue and white during the summer calls my name. So here's another basic top. Has a little bit of interest with the stripes and the different colors. Really pretty. Just more on the toned down pastel. It's under $16. Comes in a wide range of sizes as well. I just thought it was cute. You could wear it on the shoulder. You notice that I didn't pull it off my shoulders. This is just one of those basics again that I think you can get so many wears out of it wearing it with your joggers or shorts, even a pair of blue denim, white denim, so many different ways in which to wear it. And of course it changes the look if it's off the shoulders or if you opt to put it on your shoulders. Wearing it with a front tuck or just untucked either style, just easy. And I think that's what we're all looking for. I thought it was an adorable top that I know I can get somewhere out of. So that does it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please comment down below anything I'm keeping. Am I returning it all? Help me out and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.